Welcome to Cloudy with a Chance of Sprinkles. We're going to talk today about flooding a sugar cookie with royal icing. We're going to be working with two consistencies. What's right here is an outline consistency or a piping consistency that's a little bit thicker. And then what I'm about to fill with here is a flood consistency. So um, it's a little bit thinner and it'll um, it's not a like toothpaste consistency and that flood consistency is what's going to help you get that smooth finish at the end here you can see that like everything just blends in right after you put that flood icing on so there's no you can't see like the marks and stuff from your scribe when you're moving it around but the basics here is you want to get that outline around so that your flood doesn't flood over the edge of your cookie. So here in this pink, I have a thicker consistency that I am outlining the shape of my light bulb is what I'm making here. And then I'm going to go in with a thinner consistency and then fill in the rest of the cookie. Now this consistency here is a little bit thicker than some flood consistencies you may see. It all comes down to preference. Um, I don't go super floody with my consistency because I don't want my cookie to look too flat. Uh, I like the puffier icing looking um, or puffier icing looking puffier looking icing ha there we go puffier looking icing um so mine's a little bit thicker but you can see um when i start to move it all around with my scribe after i fill in the whole cookie here that it'll still meld together really well and you won't see any of the imperfections on the top now it's okay when you're filling in your cookie to not go all the way to the edge here because you're going to take your scribe and kind of use that circular motion to push it outwards to meet with that that outline that you made with that thicker more like toothpaste like consistency earlier Now, while you're spreading your flood consistency icing with your scribe, um, you're kind of just using that circular motion and working on like the top of it. You are not like scraping the cookie underneath. And then at the end, if you give it a good shake, anything that was left over, any imperfections will kind of um, settle right into place. A little bonus tip here this is a wet on wet technique so while your flood icing is still wet you can go over the top of it with some more icing that was my um, piping consistency you can also do a flood consistency on top and the two different designs just go right together and it looks super smooth and nice um, and to finish these light bulbs off I just airbrushed them through some nice little edible glitter on them and painted the top with some silver luster dust and they came out super cute